Hey peaches, what is up? I feel like my background kind of looks, I don't know, my house is messy today, but it's on the list. Today I wanted to film a huge haul for you guys. For me it's huge um, and it's pretty random also, but I kept saying that I was going to film this video and then I kept waiting like on the next thing and the next thing and the next thing and then I just kind of kept putting it off. Battery's already blinking, so we're gonna change that out and continue. So, um, yeah, I just have a little bit of everything. I have a little bit of clothing, 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 a little bit of makeup, mostly actually like body care stuff. Um, I don't know, it's a weird haul. So, we're gonna go ahead and get into it. I will let you guys know that the jewelry I have on today that I'm obsessed with, all except for these, um, and I have these two little guys on. This is from Blue Moon Collection, but I'm doing, which was a really big part of this video actually, like on the haul end, but I'm gonna do a separate video on that because I wanted to kind of like, I don't know, do an affordable jewelry-ish video. So that's gonna be coming up soon. I've actually already filmed it, so I don't know if you'll see that first or this first, but either way, it'll be linked below when it is available. Where, what, what is this? I don't do my hair anymore ever since quarantine hit. Really what started happening with my hair is I know. This is exactly what happened. When I went back to work after having been quarantined for a little while, we had to wear masks. So I kept doing my hair and I was like, oh, it's gonna look cute today. But then when I would get to work, it was so hot in my mask with my hair down, then my hair went up. Now my hair's up every day. I don't know, eventually we'll, it'll be fine. Oh, that's what I was gonna say. Some of this stuff either you're going to see repeated, um, or you won't. I don't know what I'm talking about today. I'm not making sense. I'm gonna do a current favorites video as well. So some of this stuff might be in that video as well, but I haven't filmed it yet. So I'm not sure what all I'm gonna grab for it. Um, if you see it a second time, then thank you for watching both videos. Anybody else just hear a child scream? Or was that just me? All right, I'm just gonna start grabbing stuff um, and not go in a particular-ish order. First, let's start with this gigantic bottle of shampoo from Tea Tree. This is, um, I'm sorry, I said this is from Tea Tree, didn't I? I maybe I need to eat before I film this video. This is from John Paul Mitchell, um, and it is the Tea Tree Lemon Sage Thickening Shampoo. Um, I have used this before. I don't know if it was the thickening one or if it was lemon sage, which sounds like I didn't use this one. I have used one of the tea tree shampoos and conditioners and I just got the smaller set. I can't remember which one it was though. It was mint or something. Um, and I really liked it. I like to get these humongous bottles because then after I get them, I don't have to buy shampoo and conditioner for a really long time. And for some reason I've noticed shampoo and conditioner is not something I get super pumped over. Um, not like I'm, I wouldn't ever, but I just kind of feel like it's just like on the list to buy when I run out, you know, like, oh, I'm on a shampoo. I gotta get some more. It's not like exciting to pick a new one or anything. Um, so if you guys know of any shampoos and conditioners that you super love for any reason, tell me because when I'm out of these next year, I'll need some more. I guess I'll just go with stuff that goes together. I'm like huge haul, but I'm so hyper that it's going to go by probably pretty quick. So. I had seen this, this is from Billy, and I I don't know, I just kept seeing about the razors and I also had kept seeing about the shave cream. So what actually sold me was neither. What sold me was someone posted that they had a dry shampoo. Again, hair stuff. It's weird because the shampoo and conditioner I don't get excited about, but hair product I do get excited about and I do wanna try it all. So I wanted to get the shave cream because their little ad for it said it was like shaving with marshmallows, I think. And I was like, I want to experience that. And it has aloe vera and sage in it and it really is so soft. It smells really good too. Um, it's not like over the top fragrance wise, which is nice. Um, cause I think that would be a really big irritant for some people as far as shaving goes, but um, it's very nice and I love it. And I told Dustin, we just need to keep getting this so he can shave his face with it and I can shave my legs with it because it's very, very smooth. And I actually haven't had any nicks while using this. I'm still using my regular Venus, um, like the huge intuition razor. Um, but yeah, the end. So I did get the little dry shampoo. It's so cute. I had to get it, it's so tiny. It's like blown out on here, but it's called Floof. And they have, I think, two colors, maybe. Maybe they have more and I just saw two. 
But this one is like, I can't get the top off. I don't know, you probably can't see any of that color, but it's like kind of a lighter brown than I was expecting maybe. Um, I don't know what color I got. Oh wait, this one just says dark hair. So I think they had light hair and dark hair. Um, so it's a little light because my hair is chocolate, like all the way chocolate. Um, and right now I don't have any color in my hair except for on the very ends, um, which probably at my next haircut that's gone. So I have completely virgin hair. Um, and I have not been like super styling it, really even super washing it if I'm being honest. So I wanted to try this out. I've only used it like twice because I forget to. Um, but yeah, this isn't a review video and I'm like trying to turn it into one, but that's what I got. If you guys want to review on anything, tell me I can do that. I like have sets of twos and everything. So this is probably kind of random, but this is the Maybelline Master Precise All Day Eyeliner. And I wanted to mention it because this is my favorite liquid eyeliner pretty much just like drugstore to have around. But I'm an idiot because the last time I went to CVS, you guys see how big this is? Okay, I didn't know this was the full size. I have gotten this size probably five times now. Um, whenever I run out, I just go and I get another one. Never knew it was the travel size. So now that I know there's a big size, I guess I'll get this one, but it's so good. Um, I'm not gonna turn it into review, but I bought it. So I wanted to mention these as well. Um, these are called Shower Steamies, and they're from Stay Down Earth, which is, I've mentioned before, it's my friend that does her bath bomb company. Um, and she came out with these a while back, and she was having a sale where it was like, if you buy so many, you get so many. I think it was like buy six, get six or something. Um, and I was like, oh, that's a really good like deal. I'll get them and use some of them in our shower and then I'll put the other set down in the guest bathroom and let you know whoever stays with us use them. Plot twist. I use them all except for these two pretty much. Um, this is Patchouli Princess. And so they're just, I didn't even show you guys. They're in this little like package. It's like a half bath bomb basically is like the size of it. And you just put it at the bottom of your shower. I usually use two. I have um, Calm Toe Towel. T-O-I here also, and it's peppermint and patchouli. Um, so I usually put two of them at the bottom of the shower, let the steam hit them, and it's so nice. And I knew I wanted these when she came out with them because you girls congested. And I'm actually on medicine right now um, that I take at nighttime, and then the next day for like the whole first half of the day, I'm so congested. It's a side effect of the medicine um, and like runny nose and everything. So I was like, I have got to get some of these for the shower, and I need to order some more. I'll throw this out because ironically the eyeliner and this is the only makeup thing, not ironically, that I have gotten this entire time. And this, I forgot to say at the beginning, the beginning of this haul starts at like April. I've just been slowly getting a few things. It's really not all, all that much, but um, I just remembered that I have slippers that I was going to show you guys too, but they're over there. So makeup to me has not been the same lately. Um, when I was quarantined, I did not do my makeup hardly ever except for like two days, maybe the whole time. And then when I went back to work, um, I had to wear a mask. And so I was like, just annoyed at the thought of makeup, honestly, and just slowly stopped like doing anything. Now that I have, um, decided to try to work from home, um, and I'm not working that other job and... I don't know, I just feel like if you are working from home, which this I think was my thought going into quarantine, but then I kind of lost it. It's important to still get up and get ready like you would. And I feel like now that I have a little bit of like wiggle time on my room, wiggle room on my time, I'm like able to kind of get ready the way that I want to. All of that's to say. I got this palette from Ulta, it was on sale. It's the Kylie Jenner, which I'm like confused. Is Kylie Jenner different from Kylie Cosmetics? Is it two different things? I'm not sure. But this palette is, um, doesn't have the name anywhere, but these are the colors in it. And they're super my color scheme. And I actually love this freaking palette. Quartz at the top is like a shimmery color. I know you can't see anything. I've been using this one on my lids every single day and I've been using the black at the bottom to like smoke out my liner and pretty much all of the browns. So I really, really like this palette. I'll try to figure out the name of it if I can remember and put it down below, but somebody please explain that to me because I don't understand the difference between Kylie Jenner and Kylie Cosmetics. It has to be the same thing, right? Super random is toothpaste. I'm including this because a lot like the eyeliner, I just, my eyes have been opened. 
I got this the other day and when I was going to put it in my drawer, I realized this is the third tube of this exact toothpaste, third or fourth, that I've gotten. So apparently this is my favorite toothbrush. I'm dying. Apparently this is my favorite toothpaste and I didn't even know it. This is the Optic White Stain Fighter from Colgate and it's really good and my teeth really like it. Um, highly recommend. Also shower and health and cleanliness wise, this St. Ives body wash, first of all, huge bottle and it was $5.99. So I'm here for that. This is the coconut water and orchid, orchid, orchid. Um, they had a couple other scents I saw, but when I went to CVS, this was the only one and I just needed body wash and I was gonna try it. It's lasted a long time. It does not leave my skin dry and I really, really enjoy it. Speaking of my skin enjoys it. So I don't know why like what happened that this is boom like back a thing but literally in high school i remember hearing about this cerave cerave um face wash and i tried it in high school but in high school i was like wanted to try something new every single week so i never really stuck to it but i've seen so many people posting about it that i'm like am i missing something so i went and i got it and yeah i am because my skin has just I, do, I don't think I realized like changing cleansers the way that I was doing um, isn't always the greatest for your skin because it like doesn't have time to adapt to, to the ingredients. I don't know. But I really, really like this one. I just got it from CVS. It's a couple bucks and it lasts forever because it's huge. Um, and I'm trying to like up my skincare game a little bit because, you know, 30s in a couple of years. How old am I? What year is it? So I have three things from Hemp's. Um, this I saw the other day. I literally bought it like the same day or the day after I saw um, an ad for it. This is the Hemp's Pets uh, Pet Shampoo. And so Suki, who is my 90 pound German Shepherd dog, um, stinks. And we were like, we have got to get her a bath. We wanted to go get her groomed, but then all this other stuff happened. Um, and so I think we were like putting it off thinking maybe hopefully we could go get her groomed somewhere. But we just put her kitty pull out in the yard yesterday and she actually did great. And then we dried her off with the leaf blower and she loved it. It was adorable. But this is the pets, um, hemp's pets. Can you see it? I'm so bright. I'm so sorry. And this one is de-shedding. So I got it specifically because, you know, German Shepherd, she's shedding a lot. I honestly don't know. First of all, if we bathed her correctly, and second of all, if the de-shedding factor of this worked. If you guys see back here, this this big guy um, is our old comforter, and it's just like a duvet that doesn't have a cover on it. Me and Dustin were on the sofa after we gave her that bath yesterday, and we were under it. Like, I was at this end, Dustin's at this end, and she jumped up on it, which she's not even allowed on the sofa, but she laid down really quick, and then she got off, and the cover was just... I mean, plastered with hair. Now, granted, she wasn't all the way dry, but I was like, I really hope by de-shedding, it didn't mean like she's gonna shed a lot and then maybe she won't as much. But this is the orange, creamy citrus, orange and red raspberry. She smells delicious now and she's so soft and shiny. Her fur really does feel very, very good. Um, they also have a conditioner and like paw conditioner and you know, the sprays that they do, like cologne and everything, but we just got the shampoo. These two, I ordered this um, a while back because you couldn't get hand sanitizer anywhere, and I just like to have hand sanitizer like on the regular, but this is the Hemp's hand sanitizer. It's huge hand sanitizer. This is a Hemp's hand sanitizer. This is a triple moisture. Um, I got it at Ulta, and they were really good stocked with it. So um, there is a tiny French bulldog. Whose is that? I've never seen that dog before in this neighborhood. Um, and so you can see I haven't used a lot of it. I actually bought this um, to keep it work. Now I don't work at that work. Um, so I've just had it at home in the kitchen. And you know, it's just nice to have a backup. Then I have this, which is my favorite thing ever this summer. This is the Hemp's. They did this whole like blendy line where they got two scents together. Um, and this one, She's good. This is the Strawberry Limeade and Hibiscus Tea Moisturizer. First of all, super cute bottle, okay? And also, it's so yummy smelling. I use a different Hemp's lotion at night on my hands, just my hands. It's a limited edition one as well. Um, but yeah, I love this one. And I don't know if you can tell, it took me a while to notice this, but at the top of this, it looks like Limeade, like a drink. Like this right here is the straw. I don't know, so cute. 
something that I wanted to do for myself. I have been wanting to go get my nails done, but I always talk myself out of it because I don't go to get fill-ins um, ever. I never will. My entire life of having my nails done, um, I've gone once for a fill-in. So I don't like to spend the money in it knowing I'm not going to like go back if it's not for a special va vacation occasion. Right now, these little bright neon guys, I did them and I got a gel kit for at home and I love it. This was the first kit I got though. This is awesome color. Can you see it? No. It's AWSM color. Um, it's from Amazon. I do not really super recommend this one. The colors are nice, but the base coat and the top coat, really hard for me to work with. Um, it did last a long time after I like got a little bit more info about how to use them, but they smell, the top coat smells identical to like bad fish. And I was like, I don't think I can do this. So I got another kit and oddly enough, some of the reviews on Amazon did say this chips easy. I did get a chip this morning and a couple other little nails are like coming up. But again, oddly enough, I was like, I kind of am into it chipping easy because then that probably means it'll come off easier, which the other one, I genuinely, I have never panicked like that before over my nails because not like over my nails. I panicked because I was like, I can't get this nail polish off. Like it will not come off. I tried everything for gel polish removal at home and it wasn't working. So I was like, I'll just get the chippy one. And it is from Beatles. They have such cute stuff. I'm gonna do my nails either again today or like tomorrow in the next few days since they are chipping. Um, but this kit has 20 colors in it. It comes in this cute little box and then they're just packaged like this. And I'll link below so you guys can go and see like all the colors that it comes with. Um, but I'm really into doing my nails at home with that. It's a process, it takes a long time, probably just cause I'm not good at it. But I like kind of having that me time to do my nails. And then also for gel nails, you obviously need a lamp. And I got this one off Amazon as well. I think this was only like $10. And it's from Melody Susie. And that's been my nails right now. So I also ordered from Ulta these face masks from Kitsch, which, um, Kitsch Witch. I ordered these because I was going to have to wear them at work and then I quit that job. So they came literally with me only having like a week to wear them, but that's fine. I still need masks to go other places. Um, there's a third one that's in the car, but this one is just like a light baby pink. And then I have like a light baby pink tie dye, a little cheetah pretty one, and then this tie dye. And then I have a polka dot one that we keep in the car. Um, but these are just washed, so they're fresh out of the dryer. And I recommend them. They're super breathable. I have worn several different masks while I was at work. I used the like little disposable, um, kind of like dentist-y looking doctor ones. Um, I used like, not an N95, but something similar to it. I've used these. I've used the cloth with the filter that you can put in it. And these are definitely comfortable. They're thick, but they're not like so thick that you feel like you're gonna pass out in them. Although to be honest, I think if you wear them for a long amount of time, you feel that way no matter what. Okay, this is weird. I got this at a thrift store. <laughs> but I got this cute little tie-dye um, hoodie from Pink from the thrift store. And I also got the pants, but I think they're in the wash. I really wanted a tie-dye set and I think I'm just gonna have to splurge and get it soon from Mad X, I think is her name. Every time I see them, I'm just like, and you know sometimes if you like with anything with food with clothes with makeup with whatever you're like if I get the cheaper version maybe it'll like satisfy the need but then it doesn't and then you just keep getting the cheaper version and then you have so many of the cheap version you could have just gotten the expensive version but those are next on my list and I also have completely delved into the world of sweatpants I guess I'm never gonna wear anything except these in biker shorts but Hanes was having a sale a few months ago um, it was like these were all ten dollars or something. So these are men's uh, men's medium Yeah, they're men's medium. I got this little charcoal color. I got a black Which has my dog's hair all over it somehow even though she wasn't even near these and then I got this light gray like steel kind of color and um, I love them. I've been living in them. The bottoms of them are like um, like drawstringy 
I don't know what's wrong with my body though because one leg I'm pretty sure is longer than the other because in every single one of these, it like covers my foot on one side and I'm like, why? Why is this leg not cooperating? But yeah, that's my life now with sweatpants and I'm happy about it. Okay, you guys, that's everything for today. I'm so happy to be filming and I can't believe how bright I am. Um, should I have had it at that setting the whole time? I looked at it before, but it was so overcast. I, um, I just, I don't know. I'm feeling really different right now and I'm, I have already filmed a little life update, but basically not to do a life update again all over. I'm just happy right now. I'm doing some things that I really have wanted to do for a long time and um, things are just good right now. So I'm really happy and I'm happy to be back filming. I have an update that I filmed for you guys. I have the jewelry collection that I filmed for you guys. This video, I'm gonna film uh, recent favorites and then I'm also filming a perfume collection video for you guys as well. And I'm debating doing a Shein um, like haul and review. I asked on my Instagram, you guys like blew me out of the water. Literally within minutes, we're like, yes, 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 yes. So I think I might try to do that. If you want to see it, um, let me know down below what kind of things you want me to order from there. Like, is it bathing suit quality, tops, pants? Like, do they have shoes? I don't even know. Tell me what you want me to order from there. I'm gonna go eat some lunch. I hope that you guys have a great rest of your day and I will see you in my next video. Bye.